You were expecting super hot, were you? But fools! <laughs> you were instead seeing flame in the flood! Let's game Ontario off. <laughs> Let's game Ontario 182. My exploding pa uh, Coca Cola. I mean, I'm so busy laughing. I guess Anyways. you could say a flame in the flood. Um. <laughs> Anyways. The flood being Coke. <laughs> Coca-Cola. So anyways, uh, this is a survival game. Not unlike uh, um, Don't Starve. Exactly. The only, the only thing is that it doesn't uh, procedurally generate as far as I know. No, it doesn't seem to be. And you seem to be the only one trying to survive. It's, it's a very funny survival game in that sense. Like, you're a lone girl. With a dog. A, yeah, with a dog that could be a... Dalmatian or some beagle or something. Yeah, depending and on what gender you pick. are going from island to island, <coughs> collecting stuff, scavenging stuff. Picking up supplies, making sure now, you, you survive the flood and all that. Yeah, I guess there's a, there's like a flood or something coming because definitely, you know, there's something coming in the game because she, in the intro, she's running away from, I don't know what. Something. Yeah, it's not really explained. It could just be symbolic she's running away from the flood. Yeah. But I assume this is supposed to be like in some area where, you know, that that's an issue. Yeah. Like maybe uh, Louisiana, that's what I, I'm, that's the feels I've got on this one. Yeah. But it's weird because even though she seems to find it urgent, I found this game, it didn't feel like super urgent to get through it. Yeah, it feels like, a sort of little bit of a... Like, the graphics are amazing. Um, the I don't, songs? The sounds, well, the graphics, uh, not the songs. Yeah. The songs feel like, oh, what's that band? I can't even think of it. But it's like a country, like... Country bear sort of band. thing? Yeah, and it's it just, it fits, the, it's weird. It fits the game, but yeah, at the same time, it doesn't fit the game. I know. It just feels... Yeah, and you'd think this would just be for, like, the first opening uh, swim through, but no, it plays throughout the entire game. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like we license this music from someone, so everyone's going to have to listen to this. I don't, think, I don't think it's even a licensed song. <laughs> I think it's, I'm not, no, I think it's like someone, like, their friend played a song, and they requested this yeah. song to be in the game. All the time. Even when you're rafting. Even Except when you're fighting a boar or getting killed by a boar. Even when the boar is breaking your bones. Yeah. That's what happened to you. A boar broke four, three of my legs. Three of my legs. <laughs> well, bones. And my character was like crawling and dying. And, <laughs> and then you keep hearing the country bears. The goddamn country <laughs> bears. They're everywhere. <laughs> but uh, then, again, like this game looks amazing. Like when it shifts from daytime and the sunlight... To do like a stor dark and stormy night, which I believe is like... Which I also looks amazing. Yeah. But like the game itself, like the essence it, of the game, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that this, like I'm not feeling the urgency. It feels like I'm clicking around. It feels like an adventure game without any plot. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. I mean, there is a vague plot. There, I really want Like there's this girl it. and she wants to swim the Oregon Trail via... I don't even know if it's the Oregon Trail, but she's just swimming in. Apparently our high score depends on how far we travel and how long we live. Yeah, even with broken bones, it's all cool. Even with broken bones and you're starving to death and you have parasites and food poisoning. <laughs> if you still outlast the person that's healthy, then you're a better <laughs> man, woman, or whatever. It, it's a very weird situation. Um, the game, I really wish I could like give a higher score. Like I, I. I didn't want to believe it because I saw the reviews for this game, I remember, and then I saw it, it was like, uh, it used to be like, I think $20, and I saw it for like maybe $4 on sale, but they only had a limited number of keys. Now I know why they only had a limited number of keys, because I don't think it was selling that well. Like, the actual gameplay, I find it's kind of boring. Like, you wanted to to see, you know, to crash the... Uh, the raft, right? Yeah. Like, that was more interesting than playing the game properly. Like, it's not like GTA. Well, no, that's, that's basically <laughs> the point of, that's basically the point of most of these uh, survival games. It's like, 
you actually just want to see how well your character can die. Like, yeah. It's like I was playing Limbo, and when I was playing Limbo, I, I was just thinking, oh, it's one of your walking simulator games. <laughs> and then once I got my character killed, I was like, we can work with this. <laughs> this game could be better. And that's why I have Inside as my wish list. Even though it's a short game and, it's pr and I've pretty much seen how it ends, there's good chances I can kill off the character. <laughs> I'm a sadist like that. <laughs> Yeah, so I wish I could give this game like a much better review because like it's, you know, it looks amazing and it sounds okay, but like the actual game, like there's... How does it hold up to Don't Starve? I'd say Don't Starve, it's got a better mood, like the sound-wise. Graphics are pretty good. Yeah. Don't Starve, you really have that feeling like you are going to die. And this game doesn't has that, have that, has that. And uh, <laughs> it kind of did at the, near the very end yeah, of my playthrough like, when, I, when like, I was on Death's Door. But it was basically was just like sitting there and just waiting for her to die. It's, it's like, like how, when is she going to die? And like, don't starve, you do suddenly die, but like it feels like that agony. You sort of go through yeah, that and not suffering, which is actually really hard to, to portray, say, in a video game format. Yeah, and I know it's kind of hard to pull this off, but like it, the, the advantage that don't starve has is. The fact that it procedurally generates its levels. And I think you can have more than one player at once, too. So Yeah. So. But, like, with, uh, like, I'm not even sure that it procedurally generates for, uh... For this game? Yeah. I mean, I think the ch locations change, I guess, but I'd have to double check. Yeah, I don't think it is procedural. I think it's just, it's all... Yeah, so it's, so when you basically remember all the roots and all that... Yeah, it stops so. being it stops being this unique survival like, game and more of a uh, more of a uh, memory test game. Yeah. So, so it's like okay, I gotta do this, then this, then this, then this. That's what I feel like personally. These are my type of games because that's what I feel like. It's more like chores than playing a game. So that's why they yeah. don't appeal as much for me. The difference so, with... Uh, there's, there's less fantasy. It's more like too close to real life. Yeah. If I ran out of food at home or something, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> no! I guess, yeah, <laughs> and I guess it's a sort of hit or miss. I mean, if you like, ha if you play like one survival game, chances are you'll either have played them all or, or, dirt, this, or that one game would be so good that playing anything else just fails to compare. Yeah. That's the thing. I think everyone compares this whole genre to like Left 4 Dead. Depending on the type of game, no, nah, less slash don't no, starve. Um, I would say more Minecraft. People would compare Minecraft, it to Minecraft I more, cause I mean it's simple, but it, it nails the uh, it nails the survivalist aspect. Mm. If you're playing survival mode, if you're playing like stuff like Hunger Games mode or yeah, you know, yeah, Left 4 Dead is more of a uh, player versus AI sort of game, mm. like a player versus environment. Mm. That's so. its own genre in of itself. Yeah, so I can't recommend this one. I, I had higher hopes, and I was hoping it would get even better with, once I play it more. And I didn't, you know. Okay, some people say it's roguelike, so there is a good chance. So I apologize for uh, giving it at least that benefit of the doubt. With uh... All right, well, we should probably wrap it up. Yeah, so I, I'd, say, I'd say check it out if, if it's on sale. It's currently on sale right now, say 50% on it. But I mean, like, if you if you enjoy Don't Starve and you want a change of pace, like, there, I will give it this. Don't Starve, it's, this game is basically a combination of Don't Starve and Sunless Sea. It takes Sunless Sea's naval exploration with Don't Starve survivalist aspects. Yeah. So if you enjoy those two games, by all means, give this a shot. Yeah. But I, don't I prepare to be blown away ex for anything except the excellent graphics. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The graphics will you in, and it's unfortunately the game. It's just I don't find it particularly fun to play. So that's me personally. So yeah. So anyways, so, let's wrap that up. So definitely check it out if you if you are a big survivalist fan, because I think this could be a good game in your collection. Jim might not agree, but yeah, I, I just didn't see like yeah, it looks great, but it just doesn't play properly. Yeah. So. Anyways, let's wrap it up. Adios, amigos. Good gaming, guys. Yeah. Take care.